and welcome to City A Go Go, coming to you this week from Top Pot Donuts. We have a wonderful sampler plate of performance to share with you, so let's dig in. First up, the Naked Eye Documentary Film Festival makes its debut at the Seattle Art Museum. We looked for five months to find the ten best documentaries in North America, and we think we have them. This play is called Our Town. Our opening night film is called OT, Our Town. It's about a teacher after two years of teaching literature there decides that there are more stars in the school than the ones who can dunk a basketball, and she decides to put on a play. The cucumber thing was my idea, I claim that. We have a great shorts program called Women in Shorts. Our Saturday night film is Horns and Halos. It's about an ex-felon's writing a book a tell-all book about the then governor of Texas in 1999. B-A-N Spellbound is, is the closing night film and it's uh, the most charming film imaginable. It's, uh, it's a story of uh, nine million kids who want to become one of the 249 finalists at the National oh, Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. We have a chance. It's like Rocky for ten-year-olds. I think that to support documentary film is to support the idea of the great Homeric tradition, which is somebody goes out past the perimeter of the tribe and comes back with the truth. This is our town, honey child. So, <coughs> hello everybody. <laughs> Next, the fun and exciting sounds of Seattle Baroque. Byron and I started Seattle Baroque shortly after we moved to Seattle about 10 years ago. And it's a group of musicians that um, convenes to play 17th and 18th century music. The music is actually a really wild experimental repertoire that people don't expect. I think when they hear the word Baroque, they think of nice Christmassy kind of music. And some of it really is that, and some of it is also shocking and amazing. <laughs> I think one of the things that makes Seattle Baroque really fun for the performers is the spontaneity in it. There's a lot of improvisation in the music and because each of the players really has a lot of responsibility for his or her own part, it's kind of fun just to see what will happen in any given performance. It's really music that's for the audience. I think the style of performance very much invites the audience in. And now, the details. Don't miss the Naked Eye Documentary Film Festival November 22nd through the 24th at the Seattle Art Museum. More information is available at 682-1770. Catch Seattle Baroque's dynamic duo Ingrid Matthews and Byron Shankman November 22nd at Benaroya Hall. Call 322-3118 for more. Spiritual writer and seeker Mary Ann Williamson will visit Seattle on November 22nd to read from her newest book, Everyday Grace, Having Hope, Finding Forgiveness, and Making Miracles. This free event takes place at 7 p.m. at UW's Kane Hall. On November 22nd and 23rd, Cornish College of the Arts dance students will perform new works created by such notable choreographers as Dana Hansen and Galen Hansen of 33 Fainting Spells. Find out more by calling 325-6500. And finally, if you pine for those halcyon disco days of the 70s, mark your calendar for EMP's disco exhibit opening Saturday, November 23rd. Call 877-367-5483 to find out more. Miss something? Not to worry. Go to seattlechannel.org and click on City A Go Go. That's it for City of Go-Go. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, we encourage you to get out there this week, try something new, and experience the awesome power of art. We'll see you next week. Mm. This is the awesome power of art right here.